Howdy, folks. I'm going to start off at Ron John because I need to look for shirts. Mainly, I need to find a polo shirt to wear for a dressed up occasion. So I'm here at Ron John. I know, not the spot you'd think of for dressy stuff, but I don't really have any clothing store options by me. So Ron John was the. Oh, I like the hat. I like the hat. I go to hats like a moth to a flame, but I need to find a polo shirt. Something tells me that may not be the right vibe, but it is a polo shirt. Wrong size, though. What's up, Doug209? What's up, Steam Park Casual? Looking for polo shirts. Oh, there we go. Polo shirts. There we go. I had to find a polo shirt. Oh, uh, not this one. Oh, wow. I'm going to look in the Ron John section, not the uh, name brand section. Because, man, $100 for a polo shirt. I thought Disney was bad. How's everyone doing? I, I have external mic connected, so we should be able to hear five by five. Oh, clearance out of the board shorts. Oh, t-shirts, clearance. We're going to get out to the beach in a second. I'm just starting out here because I need to look for something, so I might as well. Ooh. All right. See, if that was in my size, that raincoat, I'm feeling that. But it's not. So it's pointless. Service a little bit spotty all of a sudden over here, like... I don't know what Ver I don't know what Verizon's doing in Florida, but like, not going up, not going the best. But we're gonna head over towards the Ron John, Ron John shirts. It's a little crowded. It's still kind of spring break vibey. Oh. I need to uh, calibrate the gimbal before adding the mic this time, so it shouldn't collapse on me. So that's good. But yeah, we are we are looking at crowded times. I'm heading over. Uh -huh. it's like rotating around the guys and girls stuff here. I can do that often. I'm gonna have to squeeze by. Ooh. I thought I would get away from the screaming infants, but I have not. I did not get a, oh. I also didn't get away from people bumping into me. Jeez. Excuse me, sorry. That was violent. I think they're more of a, I think it's a little bit more treacherous here than it is in Disney. But we're okay, we made it over to the wrong You sure? All right, that pink hat, like, see, that hat's calling me for a summertime thing. Just saying. It is calling. It's made out of broccoli, I guess. All right, I need a polo. <sighs> a Ranjan polo. Do I even have Ranjan polos? Like, part of me knows I'm going to end up having to go to, like, Walmart or something, but that's that's not really a little too casual. No offense, theme park casual. This might work. It's still a button up, but it might work. Only twenty six bucks. That's leading the pack right now. I mean, they had polos on the other eye, but come on, man. Like, $100 for a polo shirt. That's a bit much. Also, I need to move this over down this way a little bit. Sorry. It's yelling at me. It's off us. There we go. Fixed. I think the pineapples will work, though. So... 
I, I was told that I had to get a tire for a beach funeral for my uncle. And I don't know what that meant. So I'm like, is it, do you want me to be dressed up? And they're like, no. I'm like, well, do you want me to come in a t-shirt? No. So I'm very confused by what it means. So I'm, I'm assuming beach shirt is okay. I think that's an okay choice. Like, I don't know. What do y'all think? What would you consider beach wake viewing attire? Like, I, I don't know. I don't have any dress clothes, really. I don't need them. I work from home. I don't have, like, I haven't worn dress clothes in 10 years. I was on a farm before. Not really, not really a dress clothes person. So, black Tommy Bahama shirt. So that's, a, that's the no to the pineapple. Oh, wait. I can find this it's from O'Neal in my side. That might work. What's up, Dengar Renegade? This could work. But I have no clue how much the O'Neal one is versus... All right, so this is $69.50. The Ron John pineapple shirt for $26 is so far leading the pack because it's $26. Uh... We can go check more of the areas of the men's stuff, but $26 of leading the price right, right now because I don't know what the other places are thinking. What's up, Chris Ellis? Like, $100 for a polo and $70 for a button-down? Maybe, maybe there's, like, just a cat, like, a very casual black T-shirt somewhere I can use. Or a black. Sweaters. All right, sweaters are not, it's too hot. It's like 92 degrees today. It's gonna be hotter. All right, we'll check over on the other side. But uh, if, I, I might end up having to stop back here and pick up that uh, pineapple button down shirt. I would go for just a black. I can always stop at uh, Walmart on the way back. How much of their polos? That's a question. That's mm. oh, button ups. What's up, Steel Leg of History? I don't know what that means, but I like the hat. Oh, forty dollars. I mean, we getting those theme park prices. No, it's okay. It's a very Easter hat. Wait, I mean, like, I can't tell if these are. All right, what we got over here? Ooh. All right. It's got a nice feel to it. It's like linen. Again, $66. Like, all I want is, like, something cla like classy looking that is not, like, $100. What's up, Andrew Wedna? I also got... I do, I do want to get one of these bags soon. The bag is cheaper than the shirt. I like the rope. I think the rope doesn't make you sweat as much. I... Is this what I think it is? I think so. I think it's... I think it's... I think it's beer bottles. That's pretty cool. Oh, and it has the inside I think you can put an ice pack on the inside and you can put your beer bottles on the outside. It's a beer bandolier. That's all I can say. It's... it's a, I, I have to ask the question, is this supposed to be like a beer bandolier? I'm sorry? Is this supposed to be like a beer bandolier? Because it looks like you're supposed to put beer bottles in it. And then like there's a back zipper pocket for ice. Otherwise, oh, no. I have no Where clue. Did you get it from? I just, it, I oh, just right. found it here. 
I, I was just like, it, it, it's like a nice utility belt. Yeah, good for beer, I guess, too. Yeah. I, I, it just par sparked my interest as odd. <laughs> No, it looks like it'd be a good thing for that. Water, probably for the kind of accessories. For, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, thank you. Why is? Also, like I'm, I'm seriously considering this bag later on, though. A little pocket for my small camera. What's up, the Wayfarer? All right. Real reason I came here, looking for. Looking for, all right, we found polos. We found a Billy Bong polo. We need black, though. We need a black, ooh. Ooh, that's a nice fabric material. Sorry, uh, my only shopping, really, is Ranjan, where I am. So this is my um, option to try and look for dressy clothes that isn't Disney-related. All right, so see, like, this, this would be too much, maybe? It could be. How much is the Quicksilver versus the Billy Bong? Is it still going to be $70? And, and this stream, uh, 65 Why are shirts so expensive? Oh my god. But look at the hat. 35 for the hat. Oh, that's like, that's like an Arizona hat. Like, okay. Like, $89 for a button-up shirt, man. What? Ooh. It's silky, though. It's silky. See, all right. There we go. There we go. Dark, black, simple. Simple black shirt. There we go. $89. I'm going to have to, like... I'm going to have to go to Walmart. Even though these are great. Like, this is a great-looking sh shirt. I cannot justify $89 for a button-up. Like, I can't. Even though it's, like, it's, like, very classy. Don't get me wrong. And it's, like, velvety. What's up, Lady Marine? I just can't justify $89. If you're ju just coming in, you... I have no fancy clothes, and I have to go to a viewing and a funeral. And I was told to do dre bring dress for a beach funeral. I have never heard of that before. And so I need to close. So we're um, kind of checking out here, and I'm realizing that everything that I'm looking at is about $100 more than I thought I'd have to spend. Um, and we also found a utility beer belt. So there's that. Uh, and I could try to order something from Amazon, but Amazon's so weird sizing. I like to like see something in person. Unless it's something I've ordered m multiple times before. So, at this point, it looks like I'm going to get the uh, pineapple shirt, which I do not know is appropriate. But the all-black Quicksilver one for almost $100. What's up, Sailor Dream? Get to the sales rack? Well, no. the Ra Interesting enough, the Ranjan itself shirts are pretty cheap. Oh, my God. Everyone came in. Everyone came in at once. So, I was thinking, thinking this. It's not black, but you know, it's it's it's. it's I'm gonna have to try to find a Walmart. But you know what? I can do that afterwards. Let's get on the beach. We spent about 14 minutes in here while I failed to find any. I thought they'd have a polo. Like, Ron John should have a polo. Right? Like, they should. So, they didn't. So, we're going to... I like how they went down to $45. I guess the craze ended. These were super expensive. Where does Bradley Scott? I like how right below is the Ron John version. That is like half the price. Made by Hydro Peak. Hydro Peak. I might get one of these. I might get one of these. So. I but they don't. All right, let's go to the beach. 
Sadly, I think my cool ice cream place is closed. Over there, the key lime pie place, I think it's closed right now. I was gonna get some ice cream. But it's closed. Oh god. Where are all these people coming from? Oh, let's go shopping. I guess spring break is still happening somewhere. So, how is, oh, is it sunny behind me? It kind of is. How is everyone doing? Um, it's too dark for my sunglasses. Sad. Teary eye. We are at Cocoa Beach at Ranjan Surf Shop. I have failed in my mission. I will go and look other places. Alright, we're gonna get the washboard abs. Uh huh, no. No washboard abs here. But we can at least, I don't have to worry about the whole being polite about gimbal length. So I can at least uh, hold you guys out a little bit so you guys see more. And yes, it's a Zortless stream. I'm sorry. Sometimes Zort can't follow. But we're going to walk down to the beach. Sunset. And hello there, Stephen Brown. I, I am rocking like a solid keg. You know what I mean? There, there are six bags under there. I just don't want to walk enough steps. Oh no. Alright. If you're just joining, you also realize that I've been complaining about Verizon messing up my service in this area. I used to have peak performance, excellent service, no issues. Now all of a sudden, um, I, it's like 90, Lady Marine, like it's 90 degrees. Like no joke, I am, I'm sweating. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna put my feet, we're gonna go put some feet in the water, toes in the sand. <sighs> Nothing like also having a beachfront 7-Eleven. <laughs> Just saying. It was hot today. It was hot. Um, I think it's supposed to cool down again for the weekend, but yeah, it's a hot, it was a hot one. I, I kind of stayed in most of the time because of that. But yeah, normally I'm cold, I'm on the East Coast, so it's a little bit like ten, like five to 10 degrees cooler normally. But man, today was a hot one. Today was a hot one. But the water should still be cold since it's early in the season. So there's gonna be freezing water on the beach. That's my assumption. That's my assumption. Say hi to Vivek. Where, what part is Vivek in right now? What part? Is he, is he down? Eastern Florida. I, I'm not in the, the I'm not in the uh, Trump area. Well, this is definitely a pro Trump area. Yeah, it's supposed to be bad tomorrow. It is. Um, Wednesday is a park day for me now, but don't know what I'm doing yet Wednesday. Let's wait. Cause. Cause. Ah, that is the 7-Eleven there. It is, it is basically a beachfront 7-Eleven. But we're gonna head down to the beach first. Though I do, I wouldn't mind having a nice slurpy or slushy. Thought it was gonna rain. It looked like it would, was for a second. But didn't. I gotta start bringing my cooler bag when I come out to the beach. Save myself money on drinks. I can hear the rooftop bars. All right, how's Jesus? 
Maybe it'll come back up. So I can hear the rooftop bars. It is definitely towards the tail end of the day because sun setting. Like it is setting behind us. Try not to look that way so I don't, you know, because, you know, it's the west. We're heading as far east as we can. We are heading east. The east winds takes us. I, I did not know they had bus RV parking. Oh. I missed FNT last week. Chris Ellis, I missed it. We got some bars and restaurants that way. Little, I think the sandbars over there. Good place. Got some nice tacos. Oh, hopefully the mic is helping with the wind a little bit. Also, it seems like me adjusting the phone helped with the uh, tilting issue. So that's good. Gonna move over to this family through. Got the little mangrove tunnels. Now everything I have is going to be covered in sand. I blame you all. That's okay. It's actually cooling off. A lot more breeze. I didn't put the windsock on the mic. Hopefully it's okay. Oh, YouTube removed this past week's FNT? Wow. Uh, the beach does not have alligators, my friend. The beach does not have alligators. Hence, I live on the beach. I'll take a shark over an alligator. Sharks can't get on land. Sharks cannot get on land. So, yeah. I will take the beach and the ocean over right. there's also a crap shoot so we're gonna try and keep it to the water folks low tide right now I'm sorry you missed the beach, Lady Marine. All right, we're gonna try and find at least a less crowded section. Tom is a beach gator. Maybe, maybe I am a beach gator. Maybe. See how cold this water is. That's for sure. Oh. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. We can't go too deep. Don't want to ruin my car keys. But the water is cold. Oh. All right. So, while while standing here, we're gonna do. You know how sometimes I like to uh, augment my thumbnails afterwards, so. There we go. You are up in Nova Scotia. Nice. That's cool.
Hopefully I came through, I can get a thumbnail from that. I do have my little camera with me, so I could, could double. T We're gonna grab the little camera out just in case for uh, an extra thumbnail photo. Oh God, it's so cold. Why is it so cold? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm close to one. Don't don't tempt me, R2. Don't tempt me. But we are getting to be sunset, so people are starting to go away. We're like I'm metaing this right now, trying to There we go. See if I can get a uh, thumbnail my little camera. How you doing R2? House to the icky. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my friend that after the weekend, if you enjoy retro reviews of TV shows and of movies, I can think of no better place to go than uh, Mondays with after the weekend. Of course, after one of my park streams. It's a little cold. It is, it is, it is quite quite cold right now at the beach um, but Aquatom yeah it is definitely Aquatom time I'm only going up to my knees because I did not bring a waterproof bag I actually found one from uh, a um, paddleboard company that I can start bringing to the beach so I can actually go further in and not worry about my car keys or the microphone case or things like that. So, this, honestly, I'm not gonna be walking much. This is just basically, I found a section of the beach that's empty and you're gonna get some waves. All right, I did find a section of the beach that was empty. Keep having to rotate. All right, we can, we can, we can, we can face this way. Do a little lower. I should get out here for sunrise again. Get you guys a nice little, uh, would anyone be up at like six in the morning for a uh, sunrise beach stream? You know, just chilling out. I gave you, look, R2, I gave you your segue to throw your stuff in the chat. I gave you your segue. Don't know why it took you so long, but I gave you your segue. You had, you had clear sailing. Oh, I'm getting like shells in my feet. Oh. Uh, Zord is not with me. Bradley's got him up at 445. Let's roll. Well, it has to be when sunrise is. Five cents for the gold. All right, maybe I'll maybe I'll do that one of these days. A little early morning, completely different crowd. Oh my god, I'm sinking. It's up to my thigh. No, I, I all my clothes are water like salt water friendly, but my um, wallet and car keys aren't, or anything else on me. So. But I'm glad the sun's starting to peek through. Wait. Oh, it's cold. It is cold. It, water's got to be like 70, maybe 68 degrees. I am, I am, it's frigid. It, it is frigid water right now. And I, I can't really walk anywhere. Because if I turn to the right, I'm literally just seeing bombs. So we are staying right here. And we are holding. Um... So yeah. Uh yeah, I am not I am not what I used to be. I, I used to be svelte um back in North Carolina and uh Florida and theme parks have ruined that. Uh they just did. So it would have been better. Uh, oh alright, so we're gonna go this way now. We were at Ron John. I was looking for beach 
funeral attire. Um, I might have to check out Walmart. Most likely, probably at the Pew Pew range. I, there's no cruise ships out. Normally I come here and I can see a cruise ship or two. There's nothing in the distance. Like, normally I come, if I come out here, like on a Tuesday, normally I can see like a couple of cruise ships, a couple of, there's some freighters. You can kind of make that sense all the way out there. Like all the way out there, you see those freighters. But they're, they're way out. I don't know if they're just not using, uh... You want me to come fishing? I can do that. I'd have to go down to the pier, though. So all the way down. That's the Cocoa Beach Westgate Pier. I would go down there. That way I can just, like, not get covered in stuff. Wear, like, the last... Dress like tubs? Uh, that may not be a bad idea. I'm not noodling. I'm not sticking my hand into any fish. Nah, there's not really any fish heading out, or ships heading out. I don't know why. But... I could probably just like find a way to just The water's getting nicer though. I'm getting used to the water. So that's good. It's getting the water is getting nicer. So I appreciate that. Uh you want me to do a fishing stream? I guess that could be fun. Do you want me to go out fishing? Like, I could go out on a boat and go out fishing. Like, if you want... Roll up, to cut to the elbows? All right, I, I can do that. I don't know, I mean, I have some decent service out in the middle of the ocean. Do you want me to rent a boat and go out fishing? Believe it or not, you can go fishing on Disney property, too. It's catch and release, but you can. Did you say Tom and Zoe? R2, where's Zoe coming from? I don't know a Zoe. You making up people for me now, uh, R2? I feel like you are. I know it was meant to be Zort. Don't worry, R2. You know it was meant to be Zort. If you did not check my community posts, there are two, um, like, I guess raffles type things. So, uh, once we get to 100 members, hopefully by the time Tiana's opens in, Mag in Magic Kingdom, there will be five hats given away with design shown on the community post. And then if we hit 4,000 subs by then, which should be about June-ish, um, there will be five leather hats, leather insignia hats that will be handed out to any subscriber. So that's, letting you all know, that is uh, currently, that's the goal. So we're going to have, once we get to 100 members, five we grew up when a laughing place hats will be going out. Actually, I can show up the logo for that real quick. So, and one more. Done. All right. So, if we hit to four thousand by the time Tiana opens up, five of these will be going out to random subscribers of the channel. The leather Rogue Attraction logo hats. Those are specially made, so five of them will be going out, and that's to any subscriber. Just gonna have to give the info. So once we hit 4,000, that's gonna be going out to five. And then for the members, once we hit 100, 
there'll be five hats with this logo, which Theme Park Casual actually helped um, clean up. And that's going to be to five members. So five limited edition leather Richardson trucker hats for the Rogue Attraction logo at 4,000 subs. And then the I Grew Up With A Laughing Place, five members will get this hat drop. The hat will be, the, the logo and the design will be dropping when Tiana's opens up, but five will get a uh, I Grew Up With A Laughing hat Place hat um, also. So there's two different sort of things going on. Hopefully June-ish, we're getting there. We're, we're steadily growing here but uh where do you buy one all right so if people want to buy the rogue attraction le leather hats those are going to be leather those are custom made so that's why i don't have a store for them right now i literally have to get them made one at a time so i can do an option for that and we could discuss that um through dms or something like that if people but i know r2 i i have one ordered for you don't worry I have one ordered for you, R2. And I'm trying to work out with the guy. The first one I ordered way back when in my, was from Miami. I'm trying to work, th work out something with him to sort of get a buy button on the website that I'm going to be launching uh, this summer. So there will be actually a rogueattraction.com. And that's going to be a place for some more unfettered access and some interesting things to come. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be more adult about this theme park stuff. Uh, someone, someone gave me a nice kick in the dairy air saying I should get my stuff together. So, so um, we're going we're gonna to make things a little bit more interesting going forward, uh, especially with helping things out with travel and stuff like that because summer's coming. So we're going to have a whole series of... I'm, I'm just kind of using this. I couldn't get over to the parks today. I had an oil change. I had a bunch of stuff going on. I'm going to be at the park, a uh, park Wednesday, but then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I got family, major kind of sad family stuff to deal with. But I did want everyone to know that there's going to be a whole series on resorts coming soon, videos, live streams, breaking down costs, breaking down pros and cons. Um, since it's summer and... Uh, at least one planning stream a week so if you are contemplating travel to central florida beaches and all that stuff there will be at least one planning stream a week that'll probably take place saturday so um we'll probably be doing that saturday and i want to try to help people out more it seems i've been showing you stuff but not giving you enough advice so i think uh you guys need a little bit more advice so just giving this the opportunity, especially since my service skyrocketed to perfect. I don't know why, but I'm not moving because I'm getting like perfect service right now. So the sun, the sunset behind me, let's see if I can uh, flip this around and not, like the, the sun is like, I'm completely shadowed out by the sun now. We're getting that nice little uh, sun glow. I'm waiting for sunset. This is also not gonna be a two hour stream. Uh, probably an hour. Uh, travel agency ain't happening, but um, I'm going to be doing as much as I can to help everyone. And I want to show off some more beach areas. I also have a couple of recommendations I can actually give right now for... I can do. I have a couple of recommendations I can do for hotels, especially in this area. So I've sta stated quite a few of them while I was searching for houses. So... Hey man, if I could start a travel agency, I would. Rogue Adventures. I think I think that would be I, I think that would be the name of the travel agency, Rogue Adventures. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if that domain name is available. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to keep. I have to move. What's up, Gary? I'm like now 
I, I have to move. I'm thoroughly like four feet lower than I was. Like I'm getting buried in water. Slowly and surely. You can't even see my feet anymore. You can't see them. No. No, you can't. No. Oh, I didn't wear my beach shoes. I didn't wear my beach beach shoes. The last time I wore them, it took like a week and a half to get the sand out. So I have my um, other type of shoe, which I have two. I have two types of shoes. Toe shoes. And these are um, bedrock sandals. Very good sandals. They, they are not comfortable at all. They're just basically one piece of rubber that's really thick and hard and uh, two straps, but they do not die. So that's another pair of shoes I can recommend for uh, adventures. But I definitely have, I definitely have some, yeah, I definitely have some shells on my feet, maybe. Yep. Don't let the sand cover your feet too much. You'll get shells. Oh, this is the Shelly Beach. No problem, Chris Ellis. Hope you have a good day too. Enjoy. Oh. Yeah, a lot more shells than I remember. It must be the time of the year, or because it's low tide. It's probably because it's low tide. Bare feet on the sand is healthy, apparently. Except, gotta watch out for shells sometimes. I'm just saying, you gotta watch out for shells. They can cut. I think I have shells. I don't know. Oh. I shouldn't let myself get sunk. That's the main problem. I let myself get sunk. That's still like a history. Glad to see you back. My dessert area will be closed now. That's the problem. I will say that's the problem. My dessert location, the Key Lime Pie Company, it's probably closed by now. That would hurt like a shell, yeah. One more little beach shot. Um, maybe not block the kit, block the kit. Uh, there we go. Suddenly I face away from the water and my signal gets worse. I don't know why. I don't know. In the water. Signal was fine. I faced away from the water. It wants me to stay in the water. Oh. Alright. Face, yes. I don't know why I suddenly got the helicopter, maybe? I got full service, so I don't know. There we go. I have a I have a major wind advisory right now. Major wind advisory. I didn't use the wind sock though. I guess I, are you guys getting a lot of wind noise? I have um, the sound isolating slightly on, but it seems like using the wireless mic is helping. It did not help the battery life on my phone though. Like 30 minutes, I'm already down to 65%. That's what happens when you use external audio. It's powered from your phone. So it kind of um, squonks your battery life. Just saying. Sharing random, random fact that, uh, oh, sorry. Not too much wind noise, that's good, Doug 209. Here, look, you can see how many shells. No, wait, you could see how many shells. Give it a second. See? See all the little shells? No shark teeth, I'm looking for a shark tooth. 
I'm hoping to find a shark tooth, but I can't find one. I also would have liked to bring my drone out. Can I live stream from my drone? I think I can. I don't know how well it would go, but I think I can live stream from my drone. That would have been fun. Oh, no worries, uh, Steel Leg of History, no worries. Oh. Uh, I have, I have not been to the beach in a long time. I think it was, like, maybe summer. I, I don't come too much in the wintertime, it's kind of cold. And I don't find the beach, like, fun if you can't go in the water. Like, if it's just I'm um, standing in the sand watching waves, it's not as much fun. So I try to, like, only do the beach when I can get in the water. Oh, that's awesome. Also, congratulations to Alasia and Johnny. I saw their announcement today on Twitter or Instagram. Congratulations to them on their uh, coming offspring. Nice, Scott. Just kind of a nice day. It was a lot hotter earlier. I'm glad it got down to like nine, uh, what is it right now? 75. It's, it's nice now. It was a lot hotter earlier. It's nice now. Nice, cool. Water and air temperature are starting to get closer together. So the water is actually feeling nice. Uh, I found a section with less people, but oh, next time I'll go to the pier. They have they have they have daiquiris there. There's a bar nearby I could go to, but I don't really know if I want to have a drink when I'm going to be driving home that soon. You know what I mean? But they have gator tacos there. Let's be honest, I, I... The beach isn't much... Yeah, it's a Florida man problem, Bradley Scott. It is a Florida man problem. Who wants to go to the beach when it's cold out? You know what I mean? Like, it's cold, do you want to go to the beach? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Who wants to go to the beach when it's cold though? It is getting darker though. Almost seven o'clock, it's getting darker. I don't know how. Beach is good in any weather. You try going in the water when it's like 60 out. I've lost my northern ability. I'm no longer good that way. I've lost it. I am now not set for that anymore. Oh. All the shells are out of my feet now. Yeah, see, no sun anymore. So I went bye-bye. Oh, it's a pretty sky, though. Pretty sky. Here's the other thing. Sunsets only work if there's clouds. If there's no clouds, you can't have a sunset. Just saying. Alright. Oh. My feet are going to get covered. my feet out of the water for a second to try and potentially dry, dry off a little bit because they're gonna get covered in sand walking up and I have to find the right place to go out that has like the shower to uh, you know 
dry my feet off or mince my feet off. Also, I can't go too long here. Ron John's parking is 90 minutes. And uh, so that's why the beat streams aren't super long normally because I only have 90 minutes. Started off at Ron John, this time we might head back up there. Like I said, I do have to pick up a uh, shirt. So, I'll have to figure that out. Uh, busy, busy week. But hey, unlike going to Disney, I only had to drive five minutes. This is also a great area if you want to watch the fireworks. Watching the fireworks from the beach is cool. Cause you'll get like a nice parab uh, parable, parab paraba. Oh wait, we can see another boat. All the way out there. Can you see it? Do you see? See? Another two boats all the way out there. They all the way out. Do you see? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll stop and get a Slurpee. All right. Last shot. Going to have to. Uh, we'll put we'll put the shades on also. For one little. See if I can screenshot that for a better thumbnail than just the waves for later. Ah reversed so I have a way to climb up and my feet are all gonna get sandy new no. huh yeah it's like climbing a hill oh almost we're almost up and we're up my feet are covered in sand now I think I've worn this shirt like four times at the beach. I don't know why. Some, for some reason, Goku is my beach shirt. I'll figure that out another point in time and to figure out to everyone why it is. But I don't know. It's what I do. This is very a loose, loose sand beach. There's no driving on this beach. It's not like Daytona or New Smyrna. So, so it's very loose. Even with the... Um, like ATVs they use, they don't really drive them on here often. So. <laughs> I feel like it's Dune. I'll do the lizard walk, I'll do the. <laughs> trying to do the Dune walk. -da -da. Da -da -da. You guys can't see it. Should bring a thumper next time. I want to name this beach Arrakis. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. As always. I also have to play, dodge the things that might get my channel canceled. Uh, not too many today. When summer and when it was spring break last week, oof. Hey, at least I shouldn't have to worry about copy copyright claims for this one. If you notice, some of the streams have been, uh, I've been changing out the music for the claims, just uh, because a lot of them were getting struck for ad revenue. And, uh, that's annoying, so, like, kind of cutting out or replacing songs, life of a theme park YouTuber. Um, some of them weren't even doing sharing revenue, they were just claiming the whole stream, which is a pain. But I do want you guys to see this stuff, so I don't want to clip it out. So if you notice some streams lately that the chat is missing... It's not because of any reason other than I had to edit the video. So I apologize for that. But I hope you understand. At the whims of my environment a lot. 
uh, doing the longer streams, I can't use the microphone to cut out some of the background audio. So there's a trade-off. I need to have a battery pack to be able to go that three hours or four hours or longer. So hope you all understand. Also, before we end, why not? One little more advert for uh, for just $2.99 a month, you can become a Zordaholic and help find a monkey lizard a home. This is the message from Tom and Zord, the rogue attraction. Help find monkey lizards homes. Zord will be happy. Okay, with the little ads. I'm going to start doing more of those, and, and, and as promised, if you are a Zort Tamer, you're going to get an ad on the channel. I think the first one will be JT, I think he's a Zort Tamer, and Steel Lake of History. So I'm going to make some uh, channel trailers for any of the Zort Tamers, um, and those will be played during the streams. So any of the members that are Zort Tamers... Uh, let me know what anything you wanted to have in that trailer and uh, You'll get the full screen version. So it'd be more like this Wait, let me see if I can pop this full screen so it'd be more like that For just $2.99 a month you can become a Zordaholic and help find a monkey lizard a home this is the message. Not the content, but you get a full you would get a full screen ad So I'm also waiting so I can use the um, feet rinser. But yeah, so if you're a Zort Tamer and up, you get um, basically commercials for your channel. So I'll have to check and see who they are. I know JT was one. I believe he still is. I know, I believe Steel Leg of History was a Zort Tamer. So I will uh, be making those once I double check. But yeah, I believe that's listed on the perks. And uh, that Zort thing is now the new member trailer. If you pick, click join, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah. All right, so I'm going to rinse my feet off. This was a shorter stream. Um, tomorrow, there will be a park stream. Don't know where yet. So we'll figure that out tomorrow. But as always, stay foolish. This is the Rogue Incognito Beach stream. Uh, sorry, no Zort. But you guys get better audio. And not as many cutouts, I hope. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you to any new subscribers. Even though I'm assuming this probably did not get any new subscribers. It's just, it's just the beach. And uh, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Then, maybe Saturday or Sunday... That's a stretch. I'm going to miss the new Star Tours opening day. But I can't do anything about it. Stay foolish, my friends. And goodbye. Avita Sane. Alright, Steel Leg. I'll be making you a trailer soon. I might be doing those this weekend. So I will be making you a channel trailer. I'll just get some of your gameplay clips. Peace out, everyone. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. Bye. See you. Manana.